Hello, Mr. Ed here. Uh, today is uh, September the 16th, 2017, and usually uh, when I do my intros, I'm usually without my, my suit on, but today we got Wreck-It Ralph here with us, and he wants to get the bees, look, here he is right here, he wants to get the bees all riled up first thing, and uh, so he decided to put the tarp down and he brushed the bees off, and uh, now they're all up in the air. Stung him, stung, oh, and we got his son here too, and his son Patrick, and, and the bees got Patrick too. So we all have our suits on now, and uh, <laughs> we're gonna uh, start with this job. So what, what we got here today is we're in Abita Springs. Um, we're about eight miles from the Abbey, and uh, we're, we're, we're on a, 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 doing a removal from a trailer. They're getting ready to move this trailer out of here. They contacted me and asked if I could get the bees out of here before they move the trailer. So we have uh, the bees are underneath in the area right here. It's the same kind of deal where they have the vapor barrier. The bees have gone inside the vapor barrier and started building their comb inside there. Um, and we're going to go ahead and cut the vapor barrier, Ralph, Ralph will, and, and, uh, and then we're going to go ahead and start vacuuming bees. And by the grace of God, these are uh, a bead of springs bees. They're going to become Abbey honey bees. It's time to do some wrangling. Well, this is what we're looking at today. Um, it's very typical. Uh, what you see underneath a trailer. Uh, you have your, your vapor barrier. The bees uh, find a hole in it and then they start moving in and then as the hive starts expanding they start chewing other holes in it and uh, so that they can get access to it. So this is this is what our hive is looking like and it starts right here at this little beam right here. I don't believe it goes onto the other side and it goes back all the way to well I can feel comb right here. So all this right here is coat. So it's not a, a really large hive, but it is a very healthy hive with a lot of bees in it. I mean, I, I couldn't even guess at the number of them right now. All right, so by the grace of God, we'll get this job done and have these girls move up into the Abbey. So Ralph's gonna get underneath here and start cutting out this uh, vapor barrier. Well, there it is and that is a nice healthy healthy hive very nice and the uh, comb extends back here I'm sure this is all our honey stores back here and as well as over here now the uh, was an original hive at some time in the past was right here and then these guys must have moved in so we're going to go ahead and start vacuuming these things. Ralph and Patrick, they're out there. Uh, going to frame it up. And we're going to get these girls moved up to the Abbey. So I've been vacuuming now for maybe about 45 minutes, I guess. And we've removed all this section right here, which is all honey right here. And we're gonna put all this back onto the hive. Um, the bees are gonna need all this stuff. So we're gonna, we, Ralph's already, Ralph and Patrick, we got this stuff framed up on uh, frames and in, in a box. And so this part is done. 
and we're gonna I've been vacuuming back in this section too trying to knock the, the numbers down so we're down this is the brood section in fact you can see at this point right here there's actually brood on these frames right here and right here these sections of cone and then we're, we're more honey on this side so my next section I'm gonna start vacuuming is will be this this section right here to get all the, the honey out I want to remove the honey first kind of like to remove the, 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 the drip and it's all coming off very dry and it's going to be able to go in the, into the frame, into the uh, box, very dry. So the likelihood of robbing is going to be very, very small in this one. This is what I love right here. I've never seen this in all the years I've been doing this. I think this hive has got their own mascot right there. <laughs> Can you believe that? A snail is up inside. I've never seen one of those inside of a hive. All right, I'm going to get back to vacuuming and cutting comb. are just about at the end of it no queen yet but you still got these bees to look through there's one piece of comb left these bees right here are ganged up for some reason and you see we chased them we chased them over here and it ain't there no more folks we just got a few more bees I'm gonna vacuum one more time we got all the comb out of here and we just got a couple more residual bees flying around. No, I did not find the queen. She got vacuumed up. So it gives me another reason to uh, want to hurry up back to the abbey and let these girls get back onto their comb. We're up at the abbey now, and yeah, look, we got Patrick over there. And Rick and Ralph, Rick and Ralph. Uh, it took us about three hours to get these girls, and we're back up here, and look at this. Got the sun is shining right now, so they moved down a little bit. Like I said, I didn't vacuum the, uh, I mean, I didn't see the queen, so I am uh, I know we vacuumed her because we didn't leave any bees behind on this one. So we're gonna pull the uh, screen out after we put the uh, the uh, brood box on top of it. In fact, let me go and show you what we got with that brood box and our honey. So here's our, our what we called our brood and, uh, and our honey. We have uh, seven frames of this honey and it's, it's really nice stuff. I mean, it's all dry honey, um, no dripping at all, so that's, that's really good. And then we have three frames of, uh, of, of brood, and it wasn't very much brood, but uh, at least we got something right there. So we got three frames of this, just like this. It, like the frames were, it was only two by four uh, flooring on that thing. So you, the opportunity for the bees to draw out big deep comb wasn't there. But so we, we, you're able to frame it up double like this and it'll work just fine. All right, so we're gonna put this thing all back together. And uh, Patrick said he wants to pull the screen out for this. So we'll finish that up with that. That's all we have for you today. Um, Patrick's gonna go ahead and uh, pull, the, pull the gate out, just the, the screen out just a little bit and remove the gate and let the bees fly. So thanks for watching. Keep on watching. From me, Wreck-It Ralph, and son Patrick, God bless. We'll see y'all in the next video. Well, I know we had a couple of people talking about when we did the video on, on uh, the building the, the RoboVac. 
that uh, there's some people saying, well, what happened to the sponsor label? Well, we had our CNC guru, Al, he uh, wrote a little program and, and made us a, a nice sign for the BVAC now. It's all out of plastic and uh, that thing is never going to come off. So thanks a lot, Al.